So they're really the only guy out of our entire roster that was injured during the spring that's uh, really going to enter fall camp with any restrictions would be Matt Shaughnessy, um, just because his injury was one of the last uh, out there, and he just needs a couple more weeks to get under his belt. But everybody should be full go for Akron uh, and hit the ground running. What I like about this year's team, the three guys to my left, uh, we have a lot of senior players that have played a lot of football. Uh, we have 17 starters returning, uh, not only one year, but a lot of two-year, three-year starters. So the numbers should tell you you should be good, but how those numbers add up together uh, will determine our success. So I'm excited for fall camp from a standpoint just to see how this chemistry comes together. And um, we have the ingredients to be a good football team, but how we mix them and how we bake them is going to determine our success. These guys can attest we changed up a little bit of our lifting philosophy, how we handled off-season conditioning in the winter months. Uh, during spring football, we tried to you know change things up from an emphasis of what we were trying to do fundamentally. I still believe you know the game of football gets down to pad level, who can tackle, who can protect, who can handle the football. I told these guys back in January that uh, you know, as we look back on the season as a 9-4 and four team, three of those games really got down to poor execution of fundamentals. Of All our offensive line have had some game experience, if not a lot. Uh, Vandy and I and Urbic were all you know, seniors. We've been here for a while. Urbic, I think, 39 starts or something like that. Uh, so there's definitely experience there. Um, Gabe at left tackle. This will be his second year, plus John Moffitt. Uh, when I went out the Penn State game, he got to play left guard, and then he stayed there for the last remainder through the bowl game. Uh, a lot of leadership, you know, three guys that can you know, do a lot of leadership roles on the offensive line. These guys right here, including Coach, uh, I mean, the potential I've seen, um, especially coming up with the senior class, is unbelievable. And I just saw success there, um, and, and, and I didn't want to go out um, last year. I wanted to come back. I love college football. I love Wisconsin football. Um, and, and so it's something I decided on. I mean, it, it was tough, but, but um, I saw more success coming back. So. I'm actually stronger than I was before I had my surgery. Um, and, and, and I think that starts with the strength, strength staff doing a great job of, of in the off season, um, getting my strength up and, and, and working with me 24 um, seven. And as far as this season, I'm excited. Um, I, I've waited so long. I think it's close to 30 some, 36 days. Um, it's right around the corner, especially to start camp. Um, but, but, but just to, to play Akron first um, is an honor, and I'm ready to go. So. Um, and I think a lot of players like night games, um, especially playing a great team like Ohio State. Um, it's going to be a great atmosphere, um, a great game um, against a great team, um, and, and, and may the best team win. So. I sit down and I interview all of our players after the season, so I had every player that's on last year's team carrying forward into this year's team, sat down with them one-on-one -on -one in my office, and uh, I know that as a, as a sounding board, every one of them expressed disappointment, um, um, displeasure in, in ending the season the way they did and, and couldn't wait for next fall to get back. And, you know, you learn from the past, but you also leave the past behind you and move forward. And hopefully that's going to give us uh, motivation to, to, you know, continue to do things uh, in a better, better situation or in a better way for the future.